A Milwaukee business goes up in smoke. And you can see it for miles. Right now, firefighters are still at the scrapyard in the Menominee Valley. We're going to take a live look at the scene and the flashing lights you see from one of our weather cameras out there. 12 News Mike Anderson is live in the Menominee Valley tonight. And Mike, firefighters battled flames as well as that bitter cold. And we got some good news just minutes ago. The fire is under control, and there have been no injuries here at the Miller Compressing Company in the Menominee Valley. Firefighters on the scene for past uh, three hours or so here, and uh, it's dark right now in this zero-degree wind chill temperature. But uh, earlier in the day, you could see it a lot much better, and uh, the the smoke plume could be seen. From Every angle of the city, investigators say it was coming from a large metal building occupied with multiple types of materials and was made the smoke so thick and burned for a long time. Uh, firefighters have been battling this, as I said, for the past three hours, and the coal has certainly been a factor. Can you see any of the water that's spraying out of the hose is instantly turning to ice. We do have some temperature extremes to deal with. We are constantly aware of taking care of our people. Uh, we have some of the, the finest firefighters in the state that are here today trying to bring this to a closure. But having said that, our ultimate goal is to make sure that nobody gets hurt in this operation. And nobody did get hurt, and firefighters, now that they have this situation under control, are turning their attention to what could possibly happen the rest of the evening. And we'll be talking more about that tonight on 12 News at 6, reminding people with space heaters and you have, if you plan to use your stove tonight to keep warm, don't do it. Firefighters have some advice for you on that coming up tonight on 12 News at 6. For now, Mike Anderson live in the Menominee Valley, WISN 12 News. We'll see you then, Mike. Thank you. Today's fire is the third in just two years at the scrapyard. Flames shot from the business in July. Firefighters say that one was a controlled burn that got out of control. No one was hurt. And in April of 2012, the biggest fire at that scrapyard. In this case, these huge flames and thick black smoke could be seen for miles. No one was hurt.